What up, YouTube? So I, I just have to make a video because I'm angry and I'm vibing on something. And yes, I have a pin tying in my pink hair. I was going to take a shower, look cute, do all that. I can do that. I could do that. But I'm not. I'm just going to shoot from the hip. I'll just tell you all the whole story. I got my feelings a little bit. Yeah, the pin fell out. All right, fuck it. So these are really good pins, by the way. I was talking to a guy back home. You can check him out on Instagram, the classy Hoosier. I'll post it. I've known this kid since sixth grade. He's like me. Uh, he's loud, fat, white, outspoken. Yeah, you fat nigga. And like, uh, no, like we both um, are very opinionated. He calls him the classy, calls himself the classy Hoosier. I love that. I found him on accident, not even knowing it was my. Friend since the sixth grade. And I, like, I this pissed me off today. So it's an issue. So I'm going to talk about it. I'm airing it out. Okay. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Hoosier. Let me break that down for you guys. It basically means like a white, <laughs> like I'm trying to like give you the definition. There's two definitions of Hoosier. Only two states use it. If I come out here and I say Hoosier, nobody knows the fuck a Hoosier is. Everybody in St. Louis knows what a Hoosier is. So you're either from the Hoosier state, which I don't even know what that is. What is that? Indiana? I don't follow sports. It's like a sports term or something. The Indiana Hoosiers or something. I'll just Google. I don't know. I'll tell you what I know what a Hoosier is. A Hoosier. It's a St. Louis, mostly based Missouri term. A Hoosier is a slang term for a redneck, uh, somebody who's kind of country, somebody who thinks they know shit, but then they just look like they're like Uncle Eddie from like the Griswolds. That's like a Hoosier. Okay. Okay. That's a Hoosier. And so he called himself the classy Hoosier and I was like, yeah, and that's a perfect name for him, but he's very judgmental. You can tell he kind of hates where he comes from in the sense, but at the same time, he's very proud of it, which is every St. Louis person, including myself. Part of me is like, I got to get out of here. I got to fucking better myself. But at the same time, there's just something undeniable about St. Louis that you love, and you see it in both our videos. I told you I'll post it. When I started talking to him again, I hadn't talked to him for years, and he's like, I still got your number in my phone. And then I really started to kind of crush on him a little bit. A little bit. But everything he says is so judgy. Keep in mind, he's five years sober. But I've met a lot of sober people. I've never met anybody as judgy as him. Classy Hoosier. I would call me a bougie Hoosier. It's almost the exact same thing. Uh, I don't not explain it to you. It's a Hoosier thing. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. And he's always like, why don't you pass the jug around? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I drink. And um, he calls me a loud Hoosier. I'm always going to be a loud Hoosier. I think even if I was sober AF, I would still be a little bit of a loud Hoosier. And so would he. And like, I see sometimes when I'm so fighting to make myself a better person that I offend some of the people that really came up with me, like my family and shit. They're like, why are you talking about us like that? Like, why do you think you're so much better? And that's kind of how he makes me feel. And I don't know if he has the same vibe. He's just trying to escape it. And I use this reference, me and what up, Russian chick. Uh, I really feel like I'm like an Uncle Buck, John Candy. I'll post a vid uh, if you guys don't know about the life. But um, Train Planes and Automobiles is one of the most relatable movies to my life. It is a story where you're just trying to get somewhere and just shit keeps happening. And shit keeps happening. You're like, are you shitting me? And it's got Sean Candy and Steve Martin. And Steve Martin's a little bit bougie. He's 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 the fuel. He's the classy. He's the classy Hoosier. I'm just the Hoosier. And uh, he's with Del Griffith, John Candy. And John Candy's like, you know what? Like, I just snapped today. I said, you know what? I like me. I like me. My customers like me. What you see is what you get. And there's something about being no bullshit that people can see. They might not be able to see that you're bullshit, but they can see when there's no bullshit. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me, at least. Um, 
And uh, I feel like that kind of personality is rare to find. I feel like you, classy Hoosier, your personality is rare to find. And I like you, asshole, or I wouldn't be making this video. I mean, I'll still sleep good with the fan on if you never call me again. But my whole point in this video is, like, his behavior <laughs> made me reevaluate myself fully. Um, I haven't had... Anybody, like, I, I get a lot of flack, you know, I'm a YouTuber, whatever, uh, whatever, and, and I get a lot of people that come at me every sort of way, and you have to have a tough skin if you're going to put yourself out in life and in social media, and I do all that, but he's the first person that kind of like, for lack of a better word, hurt my feelings in a long time, and then I thought, why, like, if you don't like me, that's why I don't be... But, like, I know I throw a lot of... I am a loud fucking Hoosier, and I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. I'm, I, I mean, I'm never going to not be loud. I was born that way. Like, literally. And uh, you're a Hoosier, too, Fuel. You're a Hoosier, too. And your insecurities, I think, get the best of you. And uh, I'm calling you out. Because, like, you like to talk shit, but... And I'm not even doing it in a mean way. I'm doing it in a loving way. You guys, I don't mention guys I don't care about. You guys heard about Breakfast Guy. You heard about Tunnel Guy. You heard about Classy Hoosier. Right? All of them have an ego bigger than my ass. And I got a cute ass. A big fat ass. And uh, none of them were. <laughs> and they all got shit to say. But there's there's stories into every single one of those, and they're all unique. And that's not even me taking talking shit, but like, I don't even want to talk shit on these guys. I genuinely love Breakfast Guy. I genuinely love Tunnel Guy, and I have love for my homeboy, uh, Classy Hoosier Sub Up. He is a riot, but like. You know, as I've, okay, okay, like, you know, there's this saying, some of the most interesting people didn't know what they were going to do at 20, some of the most more interesting people didn't know what they were going to do at 40, it's in the Boz Lutman song, I'll post it, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of posting, it's like four posts, sorry, uh, I'll put the little, um, that I won't play at my funeral, and what I mean by that is like, <laughs> In my older age, I've just kind of been, like, way open, more open-minded and laid back and tried to, like, see where people were coming from. And I feel like he's me 20 years ago when I was just, like, angry and hated people. I don't know who hurt you, who dropped you as a baby. I don't know. I don't know, Classy Hoosier. But I still love you. And it's just unique to me. Like, you know what? If... Me and him never go another day talking. We're both still going to have really amusing channels and be funny people. And if we do, who knows? Who knows what will happen? But I don't... I'm not going to kiss any dude's ass. Um, I'm not going to... Change who I am for anybody. Love or leave it. I feel like he feels the same. So, so far we are in... He's the kind of guy that wears the helmet. He doesn't drink. I'm the kind of girl that passes the jug. I'm anti-helmet. You know, it could be a match made in heaven. Who knows? Uh, we could just beef. We could just knock the shit out of each other. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? Stay tuned. I'm talking about this because um, I really don't have, like, a lot of relationships right now outside of St. Louis. I've been talking to my family more. I have the Filipino Mafia, and I work a lot. And then I just bumped into this guy, and I've been talking to him a lot. And it was post-Tunnel Guy. Me and Tunnel Guy are done. We've been done, but, uh, I mean, I, I get drunk and call him sometimes and stuff. And every once in a while, we hook up, you know. But, like, there's I don't have an emotional, a real emotional attachment to anybody out here. And that's not why I talk to him. But he drives me nuts. So much I hope we don't hook up. Because he just 
fucking annoys the shit out of me. Fucking <laughs> annoys the shit out of me. All right, I love you guys. Uh, so I thank you for letting me get this off my chest. Love you. Deuces.